Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a massive video today taking a look at how to make some coins during Team of the Year. Some of the best trading methods inside of this game we're going to talk about today as Team of the Year and these really big promos on FIFA 22 create a lot of market fluctuation and a lot of opportunities to make coins. And there's you know plenty of different ways to do that based on how many coins that you have. Whether you have 100,000 coins or less, maybe you've got 500K, 100 to 500K, or a million coins or plus. I mean, there's plenty of different trading methods and we're going to take a look at all of them today. We're going to take a look at some of my favorites and especially during team of the year, these trading methods work exceptionally well based on everybody's trying to open packs, but there's also a lot of new SBC content, a lot of new objective content that moves the market as well. So we're going to take a look at it all today. Of course, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. So let's take a look and get right into it, right? So a part of team of the year, right? It's all about the packs. Team of the year is all about people trying to pack these insanely high rated cards. And if you get so lucky to pack one, then you know, you feel over the moon. But in the attempt to pack a lot of these cards, there's a lot of SBCs that EA release um, that people, you know, will spend coins on to open a pack to hopefully get one of these cards, right? That's where some of the low tier trading comes into play today on this game. If you have less than a hundred thousand coins on this game, one thing that is going to be very profitable for you during this promo are going to be these team of the year challenge SBCs and league SBCs, because these are some of the ways that every single day in FIFA, people are going to be getting packs to try to pack team of the years right now this is the first team of the year challenge that we've had and i evidently we're getting a brand new team of the year challenge sbc every day during team of the year this is going to mean that during this team of the year promo there are going to be insane amount of trading opportunities with non-rare golds bronzes and silvers on this game you take a look at this sbc right it's not that hard but 90 chemistry that's going to make some cards move on this market right so if there's an sbc like this where it's not an easy one where you can just go and do it from your club which this one you know you know minimum four countries max six leagues it takes a little bit of work sbcs like this make a lot of non-rare goals and bronzes move on the market if you know the right players you can trade with those cards so much it's crazy, right? So what I want to show you guys today is a very popular method of trading for low tier cards called SBC Solutions Trading. Now, this is footbin.com, of course, and I'm, I'm searching by active challenges here. This is the web page where you can find all the SBCs in FIFA. I'm going to click on this team of the year challenge because a lot of people that are maybe a little bit lazy or they're like, man, I don't even know how to start to do this team of the year challenge SBC. They come into a website like this, a footbin, and they click on completed challenges to see how to do this SBC. And then they click up here at the top, right? Like, let's look at these. Let's say this solution right here, it shows us we have some we have some rare golds in here. We have some silvers and some bronzes, right? SBC solution trading is what this is called, right? This is one of the best ways to make coins on a low tier budget in this game. You're going to basically look at these solutions because Footpin says that this guy, Lewis, right now is going for 200 uh, coins on the market. But you can see his price has not been updated for 39 minutes and he's a non-rare silver. So he's probably decently rare on this game. Same, same thing with Griffiths, right? 300 coins. I'm going to go check this Griffiths price because I would imagine that he might not be as low as 300 coins. So this is 66 rated Griffiths. We're going to look him up. Now, the reason why somebody would be buying this Griffiths card is because um, he people would go to Footbin and see an SBC like this, and they just don't know how to do the SBC themselves. So they go and copy it, right? Take a look at this Griffiths card, man. How much is he on the market right now? Is he literally extinct? This guy is 10K on the market for a silver card right now on this game. That is absolutely insane. But this is the type of stuff that happens on cards like this. I mean, maybe I can sit here and try to snipe one of these. This is something that you can do with a card like this that is so high in value, a non-rare silver for a solution like this. You could sit here and try to snipe this card or you could attain it on bid. And as you go through these solutions and as people are doing these solutions, they will pay nine, 10,000 coins for some of these cards just because they blindly follow what the solution says for them to do. So let's go take a look at another one of these guys that's in the SBC, uh, Payne, P-A-Y-N-E, uh, 66 rated, Tim Payne, how much is this guy? The other guy with 10,000 coins? Dude, look at this guy, 3,000 coins, right? Maybe we add this to our transfer targets and see if that sells. If it doesn't, 
maybe we know, okay, we can try to get this guy on some bids, but this is the type of stuff that goes crazy for the silvers and bronzes during these SBCs. And that's just one of the things you can do with SBC solution trading, right? So this SBC, of course, Flippin will, will eventually update the prices. And instead of showing 700 coins for pain, it's going to show that he's actually like 3,000 or 10,000 coins on the market. So the windows to trade with these cards will be kind of small and slim. But if you go into Flippin and just look at these top solutions right here, click through a couple of them and look through the cards that are in here, especially for non-rares. Um, you know, bronzes and silvers specifically, the cards that aren't getting packed as much, you can obviously see how some of these cards go for crazy value on the market, right? It takes a little bit of work to find some cards and it takes a little bit of time to get on bids and to find some cheap cards. But that is like one of the number one ways that you can make coins in this game. Uh, and it's especially gonna be great during team of the year as we're getting a brand new team of the year challenge SBC every single day day now another thing you can do if you don't want to do that is you can just go very simply to a the fifa 22 players tab here on flipping which is on the drop down page you go fifa 22 players and then you can search by gold non-rare so right now i'm sorting by all the gold non-rares in the game and i sort it by price right if i click on price here it'll sort by uh, lowest to highest or if i order by ps price it'll sort by highest to lowest. A lot of you guys know how to do this, right? This is a really great tool that if you don't know, learn this, right? It's really good. Look inside of here and you can see a lot of these non-rare golds are selling for like 2.5 thousand coins, right? And then what you're gonna wanna do is click on a couple of these and look at their graphs and see how they normally fluctuate. Versal Jekyll was 800 coins yesterday, spiked to 2,400, went back down to 850 coins, spiked to 8K, is now back down to 2,000 coins, right? So you're gonna wanna find a card like this that spikes up and down in price. Maybe you can find them on their, their high, right? You can find them very high in price. How about this Ruben Aguilar? He's 2.2K. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this dude. Uh, he was 1,000 coins. Yesterday, he went down to 850 K, 850 coins at night and then exploded to 2K where he is right now. And he's still at 2,000 coins. So what I would do is sort through a lot of these cards Find ones that are consistently fluctuating up and down in price. It's the same cards that do this just about every time, right? Uh, I'll give you guys one card that does really, really well. This uh, Dean Henderson, Manchester United goalkeeper card. I mean, look at his graph. Every time we have little small SBCs out like this, he's like over 1,000 coins. Yesterday, he was 1,300, went, then went to 2,000 coins. He was 1,300 and is now back up to 2,600, 2,200 coins. So these non-rare cards like this, it specifically works with cards that are from very popular nations, but off leagues. Like Otamendi is always a card that is, is very expensive for SBCs because he's Argentinian, but he also is in the Liga, uh, Liga Nos, Liga Portugal, right? So he has a lot of fluctuations in price as people link him together with other Argentinian cards and maybe some SBCs like today's daily SBC that requires multiple leagues and multiple nations. So that's another tip I can give you guys is just go through here and sort by the cheapest uh, non-rare golds or maybe even some of the cheapest bronzes and silvers uh, or some of the most expensive non-rares and silvers and find out those cards and watch their fluctuations, right? And then you kind of learn some of these cards and you'll learn their prices and you'll be able to trade in and out of these cards just about every single day as new SBCs come out and as new uh, demand comes for a, a brand new flash SBC. So this is like for low tier budget, like this, you can make millions doing this, but with you buying uh, like a lot of players at a time, the only thing I'd be careful with is don't buy, like go on a sign with like millions of coins uh, like all the time, because there have been people that have been banned. Like if, if you're buying a bronze card for 150 coins and selling it for 10K and you're selling like a thousand of them, you could get banned. So just be careful with that. But that's a great way to make coins if you're on a low tier budget. Now let's talk about the next tier of budgets, right? Like from 100,000 to 500,000 coins, or maybe even a million coins. You can still do a lot of trading with that lower tier budget, that lower tier you know, those cards that we were just looking at. But one thing you can do when you have a little bit more coins is you can start to adventure out into the out of packs special cards. This is one of my favorite ways to trade on this game is flipping these cards that constantly move on the market. And especially during team of the year, we're getting tons of SBCs, right? The team of the year cards are very, very expensive and they're very popular, but not everybody can afford them. But when EA release really good value and very popular SBCs, like this Lucas Paqueta that they have released recently, you see a lot of cards that link to this item 
rise up and down in price. So there's two sides of the coin here, right? Side number one of the coin, Lucas Paqueta come out, comes out and what are you going to link to him, right? If people are doing this SBC, which he's very popular, he's a very well-rounded card. He's got a lot of upvotes on flipping and, you know, people just seem to be liking this card in general, right? Five-star skills. This card, Gold Neymar, which is a green link to that Paqueta has gone up in price because people go out and do the Paqueta. They need somebody to link him to, right? So this Gold Neymar is 475,000 coins at the moment. His price earlier today, he was like 430,000 coins before this SBC dropped. Now, a lot of times with these SBCs in this day and age in FIFA, these are getting leaked, right? A lot of these SBCs are getting leaked on Twitter beforehand. So you can honestly, it depends on the price of the SBC. And the reason why this Neymar went up so much is because look at this Paqueta, right? 244,000 coins for a League One center mid, high, high work rates with a five-star skill upgrade. This is a way, a way that I like to gauge hype on cards a lot is look at the up and down, uh, thumbs up and thumbs down on footbin. He has 4,000 thumbs up and only 452 thumbs down, right? That's going to mean that the links to this card as they build squads around him and try him out as people play this game on FIFA, they're going to link him and the, the, they're going to be buying cards to link to him like Neymar and those cards are going to go up in price. Now, Neymar is obviously in packs, but you know, you can find some other Brazilian cards like this Vinny Jr. left wing, right? He is up a lot in price at the moment. 268K. What was his price earlier today? He was, uh, you know, he was like 240s, right? He's up to almost 270,000 coins. So he's up like 20,000 coins, right? 25K. So that is a card that is up. I know that like the Marquinhos special cards are up in price because that is a Brazilian center back that would be a green link to this Lucas Paqueta. So that's the kind of stuff you can watch out for. Now, one card that I bought today is this Anthony. He was usually around 100,000 coins, but he's actually rising up on the market right now because people that are using Paqueta are linking him with Anthony as one of, as a very popular right mid in this game. Even though it's only a weak link, take a look at this card, right? He's like 110,000 coins. He was 99K just a little bit ago. I was buying these at 99,000 coins on Snipe. Uh, because Footbin showed an undercut for 99k and he was actually selling at 112. So he's actually, you know, dipped back down in price a tiny bit, but you can see how rare this card is. And there's not very many listings at 112k. So I actually bought like 10 of these right around um, 96 to 101,000 coins. And I'm going to look to sell these at like 110 or 112 K. And that's just the type of trading that you can do every single day around brand new SBCs. Not that we're getting SBCs every day on this game, but I'll, oftentimes we're getting SBCs pretty, pretty regularly every day, every two days. So when you see fluctuations like that, like you can see these Antonys, right? 96 K hundred thousand coins flat. 101, right? 96 on that one as well. You see fluctuations on this market and that's going to cause people when new SBCs are out to go and buy players that link to those new SBC cards and you're going to see them fluctuate in price. So that's a really great way you can trade if you have a decent amount of coins. Now the flip side is, let's say like this Paqueta came out and you know, a lot of midfielders have dropped today, right? Lucas Paqueta came out, Renato Sanchez, um, is he was 690,000 coins, but since people are selling Renato Sanchez to go do Paqueta, since it's a uh, substitute good on the market, Renato Sanchez has dropped like 70,000 coins. He went from 690 all the way down to 618. Now, sometimes these cards rebound. It all depends on the card, and it all depends on also how popular and how hyped that card is. So one thing I'd watch out for uh, that I watched out for today is Fred right? So Fred is a Brazilian center mid in this game that his price today was hurt because of Paqueta, right? But also right now, this Fred is a very popular card in FIFA. So right now he's 250,000 coins with a couple undercuts right here. Now I knew that Fred was usually like 250 or 260k. So when the Paqueta SBC was dropped today, I went out on the market and I bought some Freds because he was down like 20,000 coins. I bought these at 230, 235,000 coins. So now that Fred is rebounding back up, um, you know, you see that happen a lot of times with a very popular SBC. People will panic sell the card that they have because they're going to replace their Fred with Paqueta. But since Fred is not in the League One, he's in the Premier League, he's Manchester United, he's a very popular player anyway, um, and he's an out-of-pack special card on this game. That's part of the key too for this, right? An out-of-pack special card, those are some of the best items to do this sort of trading with. He has rebounded back up. So there's two sides of the coin here, right? 
Neymar and Anthony went up because of the links to Paqueta, but Fred, Renato Sanchez both went down, at least for a little bit, because of the substitute item that Paqueta was. So now this Fred is bouncing back up because people are like, I'm going to go buy Fred to maybe link to my Paqueta. I'm going to buy that one at 242 because I think this guy is going to go to 260. Uh, I'm going to snag that on my transfer list because I think he's going to go even higher, um, especially with some other leaked SBCs that are out, right? And one of those leaked SBCs, I, I'm recording this video a little bit early, as you can tell. Um, one of those leaked SBCs that we're expecting is a flashback Raphael Varane. And I'm going to show you guys that SBC right now because there's a lot of hype for this, but you can even start to trade with some of these cards in the buildup, right? In the buildup to these big time SBCs, you see people corresponding with these leaks on Twitter, um, you, you see people going out and buying cards. That's why that Fred card is us. So I knew that because this SBC is not out yet, but it's coming soon. I knew that um, there's people that are buying up the Fred because they think it's going to link to Varan and then go up further in price. So the leaks also play into the current team of the year market as well. And that makes for some good trading fluctuations. And again, I would say that's some of my favorite trading methods. If you're in the range of like 100K to a million coins. Now, another thing you can also do is Cards are, are daily moving on the market. Another Bruno Fernandez here, 500K. This guy was, he was 542, went back down to 500, back to 536, and he's kind of been down low in the 490s. I'm going to take a look at this Bruno Fernandez on the market because uh, he's a rare card that just fluctuates a lot. And as you can tell, his price going up and down 40,000 coins each day creates a great opportunity to trade. 500,000 coins for this Bruno and there's literally, there's a 535, 505, and a 500. Uh, so I would love to see under 500K for this card, but since he is so rare, but also again, since he links to that that potential Varan SBC that is coming out very soon, you know, I think I'm gonna pick up this one at 500K because I think I might be able to sell it at like 540, 550,000 coins a little bit later. And I'm actually gonna list this up right now because multiple times already today, Bruno has been 500 and 40,000 coins. So you know what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to play with the market a little bit. This is a little risky sometimes when you do this, but I'm going to play with this market a little bit. I'm going to buy this one at 505 too. So now I all of a sudden just made the cheapest Bruno Fernandez on the market, 535k. So as long as no nobody else comes on to the market and lists their Bruno below 535, right now, if this 535, oh, look at that 490, give me that. Bang, I'm gonna, I just bought three Brunos, right? For a pretty good price, knowing that he goes to about 550, 540 every day. I'm gonna list all three of these up right now at 550. So now the cheapest Bruno on the market after I've just bought all those is a 535. And then the three that I just listed are next, right? So hopefully this one gets bought and then mine are gonna sell. So obviously that's a pretty big example. If you, if you have a card um, that is this rare, there's not too many examples of this, but again, just people after team of the year, they open a lot of packs, they get a lot of coins. So they, there's people that are on the game that are buying cards, trying things out, playing with brand new cards, whether it's icons or specials, and it just creates a lot of fluctuation on the market. And that's why it's just a great time to trade with cards on this game across the whole entire game because the coins are flowing, people are opening packs, and when people have coins, they go buy and sell cards. This Desai was 1.08 mil, right? Let's move into some higher tier trading for a second here. Desai was 1.08. Right now, his cheapest card on the market is 1.2 million coins for this Prime Icon card. Now, I would be careful of this because of the Varan leak that is coming out, but you know, you can trade with icons in the same manner. If you have a million coins plus, uh, Ronaldinho, baby Ronaldinho is up a decent amount right now. I think he's, he's about a million coins. Roberto Carlos, how much is he? Uh, about 1.1. He was 1.08 earlier. Roberto Carlos is, yeah, 1.15. That's his cheapest on the market. So, um, you know, if I could have bought this at a 1.05, and I know that he maybe would go to 1.2 later, the foot bin graphs, especially for some of these icons, if you're on a higher tier budget, is so, so, so very helpful for trading, right? You can see Roberto Carlos today was 1.1, you know, 1.07. He had a weird spike in here, and then he's usually about 1.14. Yesterday, he was 1.06, peaked around 1.12, but it looks like he's going up in price today. And again, as more people open packs during team of the year, you see that stuff sort of happen. So we expect these cards to be continually rising. But then again, you never know what SBCs are going to be coming and what content EA is going to release to make cards move. So it's just an absolute great time to be trading on this game at the moment. 
um, especially if you're on a higher tier budget. This Fofana is going down 900,000 coins right now. So I wonder, I think, believe he's playing in a game. I wonder if he's losing. Um, but so those are some of the ways that I think it's just an incredible way to make coins right now in this game, whether you're on a low budget or a higher budget. Um, again, for the low budget stuff, those non rares, right? Like the Odomendi that we looked at. Um, one of the guys that I've often traded with is a non rare center back from Portugal. When I'm on a low amount of coins, it's uh, Daniel Carrico. And how much is he right now? He is 950 coins. So like this is just an item that I don't know if he moves around anymore, but he's a Portuguese center back in the Liga Portugal. Is that where he is? He's in the second Spanish league. So like this guy, I'm pretty sure, depending on the SBC, sometimes he's like 700 or 650 coins. And then other times he goes for like two or 3,000 coins, depending on the SBC that is released. So low budget high budget anywhere in between there's plenty of opportunities to trade because this market during team of the year has coins people are very excited about using their coins to try out players it's just a hype time on fifa so there's a lot of movement on the market and that's why i wanted to make this video today so those are some of my favorite trading methods to do in this game of course if you have any comments or any questions drop them down below but if this video helped you out at all make sure to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later Peace.